ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Silver Potato. Welcome back to Captain of Industry, where last time we explored a couple of the brand new, the brand new buildings and the brand new bits and bobs that had been added as part of the beta update. And today we are going to be continuing, hopefully, uh, exploring all of the brand new stuff uh, that this update has to offer. Okay, uh, so where we left off, I mean, research-wise, we have just hit conveyor belts, which is going to be super important. Uh, we need to more consistently manufacture these uh, these construction parts level two. Uh, at the moment, it looks like we have choked a little bit because there's uh, 40 available and we are not manufacturing any, presumably, because we need to... Uh, we need to plonk down a storage building and start storing the darn things so that we can uh, so that we can empty the output of this assembly area. So we're going to do just that and we're going to do that immediately. Uh, hopefully, we're going to be able to continue assembling at pace construction part level ones. Uh, we've also just got diesel, which is great. Happy days on that front. Uh, however, we do need to basically you know, triple the amount of oil, or maybe even quadruple the amount of oil that we're getting out of here, because we need a lot of oil, and uh, we've we've basically got we've basically got none. Why don't we fix that in the in the first instance? It's a pretty small it's a pretty small source, but we'll you know we'll we'll give it a punt nonetheless. We'll do something like that. I mean, it doesn't really need to be altogether too complicated. Let's pump that in there. Let's pump that around there, and let's pump that into there make sure that it is split evenly which is just fine but yeah we need we need much 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 more diesel and hopefully we can also start to repair the uh the ship as well that's something that we're hoping for uh we also need to fix this area here uh yeah so this area is is it, it's a it's a mess it really it really really is i mean let's just delete all of the mining designation stuff and then maybe let's just start again i feel like this is this calls for this calls for some brand new this calls for some brand new excavation can we try that that looks pretty good that looks pretty that looks pretty good pretty decent let's also expand down there and maybe we get a dumping designation and we flatten here and we just sort of dump across this area can we try that yeah, well, we'll dumping designate there, hopefully, uh, to try and just make this area a little bit, a little bit more workable. It's going to take a little while before, before we get enough coal to presumably restart these processes, but ah, we'll get there. We'll get there in a bit anyway. Uh, right, we need one worker to work at the oil pump, and we'll need another person to work at that oil pump there. But that's not super essential, if I'm honest, because. We should be fine. Yeah, we should be, we should be, we should be A-OK. -okay. Uh, both of these coal makers can probably be discontinued, uh, although maybe it's worth not discontinuing them just so that we can continue to get uh, a little bit of wood as and when it's required. Although, yeah, we won't have the workers for that. So, you know what? We're, we're, we're cutting back on coal makers again. Uh, look, the small excavator is just gonna have to step up its step up its job here. We're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to wait until <laughs> until we hit coal. This area is such a flipping mess, but that's okay. That is a okay. Uh, right, so we don't have enough workers. We need to get a few more workers. We could stop uh, the crusher. We'll stop working the crusher temporarily. We got a whole bunch of sand. We got a whole bunch of slag. We got a whole bunch of gravel. Uh, we got, you know, we got plenty of concrete slabs, to be honest. Uh, we will need to get some more cement, because we are slowly but surely running out of cement. We're fine for copper, I think. Uh, yep, we are fine for copper. We just need more coal and a little bit more copper ore as well. Hmm, okay. Is that because... Oh, yeah, that's because we haven't, we haven't actually finished... We actually haven't finished with the sand area. Although, as I speak, look at that. What good timing. What good timing. We've just, literally this second, uh, finished mining out sand, which is which is grand, and now we can properly start excavating copper, uh, which is really, really, really going to help out. Uh, what's going on here? Let's recover you, and then we'll reassign you to the, to the mission there. All right. See if that works. We're still fine for diesel. We're still good for diesel. That's, that's excellent. We've assigned the excavator... Uh, which should be coming across, I believe. It's it's gone. Is that because I have I have paused the vehicle depot by any chance? 
Yes, it is. Well, that's okay. We don't need workers to... We don't need workers to get the small excavator right. We can... We can quite happily... We can quite happily leave it there. Uh, okay, how are we doing? How are we doing? We got 39 construction part 1s. We got construction part 2s that are not exactly being made, you know, en masse, but they are being made... Uh, they're being made enough. Uh, we're making enough of them to maybe start making some improvements. Let's cut back on all of this. Let's nab ourselves a loose storage tank right here. And, in fact, let's grab ourselves... I want to grab myself one loose storage tank for the both of these places, or do I want to grab two? Uh, that's a great question, actually. We can also cut back on that recipe because we don't actually need it anymore. Yeah, what is it that we need? What is it that we need? It really is coal. It really is coal, so we need to just up our coal game. Let's actually get an additional truck. Let's get an additional truck to start working at this mining excavation area. Yeah, that's going to help out tremendously. Diesel we are now good for again. I think we probably... I think we're probably fine. We do... We do need to start building... We do need to start building belts. Uh, we also don't have an exhaust pipe over here, which is quite embarrassing. Uh, there is one nearby. Which... Probably what I'm just going to build towards. No real reason to build an additional, an additional smokestack. I suppose we could just connect to that one. That's ah, six and a half a dozen. It doesn't really, it doesn't really make much of a difference. But yes, coal, 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 coal all the way home is is what we need, and we need lots of it. So maybe even worth considering an additional bulldozer. Ah, but that's that's okay. Uh, right, should we do some more research? I think we I think we should. A fuel station might be kind of handy. Ramp for vehicles, is that really necessary? Captain's office is is nice, potentially. Research lab 2, I don't think that we can actually... In fact, we must be able to build that. Settlement water, let's do... Let's do settlement water first, so that's going to allow us to get a little bit of extra unity. Then we'll just queue up a whole bunch of other stuff that we can just sort of work through. I might, in a moment, suspend one of these labs from actually working because... I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to suspend one of the labs from working because I would like to re-enable this beacon uh, because we do need sort of one additional load of, of people. Um, we kind of desperately need that. We're, we're in a situation now where the food is very good. And in fact, the food is going to be much better once we upgrade these farms and they become irrigated. Uh, but we can worry about that in just a second. Let's get some conveyors down, because I've been procrastinating on doing that for uh, for a little while now. There we go. Let's get you in there. And let's get you in there. So that's the iron outputs. And I'd quite like to do the same. quite like to do the same. Let's actually ditch this, cancel that, and let's get a conveyor that goes in there just to make sure that it's perfectly split between both of the sources of the iron. Again, trying to keep things sort of spaced out enough that everything sort of everything, you know, feels everything feels good, everything feels feels grand and uh, we don't we don't sort of compress things into into dicey areas too regularly. But yeah, I'm very very happy with this. This is looking this is looking great. Uh, copper as well. Copper electrolysis has got a little bit of a problem right here, but that's fine. Let's get let's get a unit storage over here, sure, and then we'll get a transport that jumps up and over there. Yeah, I don't love this. I don't love this area uh, at all. Actually, I'm also acutely aware of the fact that we will need additional. We will need an additional uh, diesel generator because we are running a little low on the old power. Might put a little bit of extra strain on our diesel production, but I'm actually kind of hopeful that it won't. Let's prioritize... Prioritize that, please. Yeah, I'm kind of hopeful that it won't put any extra strain on our diesel... Uh, on our diesel processes, so... Yeah, that's pretty... That's pretty decent. I'm realizing that this is a pretty uh, awkward place for the two blast furnaces that we currently have set up. Uh, I feel like I could have done a much better job of putting them much more 
closely together. But that's okay. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's it's fine. It's not a not the end of the world. Uh, we will need much more copper, though. We, we will need a lot more copper. A lot, lot, lot more copper. Uh, also, this needs to go in there. And then this needs to go in there. Link that up. Cool. Uh, slag is still output. Ooh, new refugees. Brilliant. Let's turn that off because we do not want any more at the moment. Nice. Okay. 12 copper. How much copper do we have? We got 22. We got 22 copper just chilling in the uh, in the in the hub. We've got 10 copper in this area here. We also need to we also need to start automating the maintenance depot. And that's gonna be I don't want to say a challenge. We got plenty of maintenance to, to, to go spare. But last month's change was negative, which maybe makes me think that we do need to get we do need to get slightly more. What do we need? We need more copper ore. If we need more copper ore, well, I'll tell you what we can do in order to get more copper ore. We'll actually assign a brand new truck to go and work on copper ore extraction. We'll restart the crushing process. That's pretty imperative. Although, to be fair, it's all still working at a pretty decent rate. Iron extraction is looking good, although we'll need to allocate some more resources to iron extraction uh, soon. That is... That is fine. That is fine. This is looking. This is looking great. I need to tidy. I need to tidy this up. This is. This is. Um, this is ridiculous. I need to tidy this up. Let's yoink that over there, and let's. Put, do that in there, and. Uh, One more like so. Yeah. Cool. The whole point of this... Blast furnace has no recipes. We'll get iron. Yep, the whole point of this is to try and... Try and tidy up this... Try and tidy up this process. Hold on. Let's, uh... Let's go down... There we go. Nice. Okay, I think that's gonna be. I think that's gonna be a little bit, a little bit nicer. Uh, we'll get the smokestack set up as well to do. Oh, that was perfect. Yeah, to there. Keep it nice and compact because we know what's we know what's going in here. Uh, U-shaped conveyor transports loose uh, throughput products. I do kind of want to put a loose storage bin up at the end here. The only problem is, am I going to be able to get a U-shaped conveyor to link to link that there? I can always try. U-shaped conveyors, I think, are are pretty darn cool. We'll see if they're able to flow up. Um, I think they might be gravity fed, which means that they might not work perfectly. Um, but we can we can always we can always make a, a judgment call on that later. Uh, we can restart that lab as well. It is absolutely chucking it down here, but that is okay because we are good on the copper front. We are good on the coal front. We're not quite good on the coal front. Uh, we need a little bit more. We need a little bit more extraction capability by the looks of it could do with getting another vehicle depot set up. Hmm. Yes, I might I might do that. I might do that. Let's pause you. Enable you. Right. One more. How are we doing for diesel? We got loads of diesel. That's excellent. I tell you what, there is a lot of there's a lot of stress on all of these systems. Oh, we can pause we can pause this. Because this is not required anymore. Yep. Uh, which will allow us to better allocate people and resources around the map. That's good. You've got wood. Yep, we need to, in fact, get another unit storage over here for wood. Let's get wood. There we go. Settlement water has been completed. That's great. Love to see it.
Okay, let's go to the middle one. Middle one. Okay, it's a little it's a little messy, but it's gonna automate all of these processes, which is uh, which is kind of great. All of the iron that we could need is gonna be distributed automatically. All of the wood that we could need is gonna be distributed automatically. It looks like the slag is now gonna be output to the exact place that we want it to be output, so that's great. As long as we sort the inputs here, we are we are sorted. And the way that we're gonna sort the inputs, quite simply, is by getting two loose storage towers. We're gonna nab ourselves some. Uh, what is it? Yep, U-shaped conveyor, and we're gonna go one to there, one to there, one to there, and one to there. You are gonna hold coal for me, you are gonna hold iron ore, and I think, I think to be honest, that's a setup that we're, we're pretty darn happy with, if I do indeed say so myself. Uh, the situation with iron at the moment is not exactly ideal. We need to have sort of like an iron overflow storage area uh, because that is that is unacceptable. We cannot, we cannot hope to automate our maintenance setup if we are not able to, you know, produce uh, a whole bunch of iron. So we're gonna, we're gonna try and get that set up in, in just a mo. Uh, we also need to get these all upgraded to electric. Let's prioritize that because we can start manufacturing these construction parts uh, much more rapidly and it would be really really great you know the, the sooner that we're able to get more construction part level ones that would be that would be phenomenal that'd be good uh, okay right I'm, I'm quite happy with this this is looking this is looking particularly good that's upgraded excellent we've got 33. 33 construction part ones. That is fine. Let's grab this into there. And prioritize that. Ooh. How many of these rubber things do we have? We got we got a, enough rubber things to build a few more belts, but we don't exactly have uh, a plentiful supply of them. Also, coal. Coal excavator. Let's get the coal excavator over there. And then let's also build one, two more trucks. I really don't want to. I really don't want to destroy my rubber supply uh, too much. Uh, right. Let's get the boat repaired as well. We can start. Maybe. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. This is. This is the deal of a lifetime. We'll we'll get some rubber through trading with the settlement, and maybe we'll upgrade that uh, in a little bit. Okay. Cool. That's gonna keep. It's gonna. Does it deliver to? It delivers to the trading dock. That's fine. Okay. That's good. As long as we know, as long as we know that we can do that in a pinch if we need to, then that is that is wonderful. That is wonderful. Right. So the iron ore is going to be delivered very very simply to this loose storage bin and then the coal is going to be delivered to this loose storage bin and that is going to sort us right out for I hope uh, a fairly considerable period of time. Let's get you upgraded. And let's get you upgraded. I haven't even done the maths on the... I haven't done the maths. Yeah, whoops. That was my bad. I haven't done the maths on the... Are we going to be able to... Yeah, we are going to be able to upgrade you. Fine. Uh, I haven't done the maths on how many of these things we're actually going to be able to supply. What, three iron every 20 seconds? So we need nine iron every 20 seconds. How much do these produce? produce four iron every 20 seconds so we actually okay this believe it or not this setup does not this setup is not fast enough to keep pace with all of the iron that we require that's uh that's a little irritating that's a little irritating so we get eight iron get eight molten iron every 20 seconds Actually, no, it should be fast enough to keep up. Yeah, it should be It should be fast enough to keep up. Okay, all right. Well, I guess we'll see. What we really need to ensure is that we're just able to run... Okay, uh, truck auto import off. No, off. Truck auto import off. We want to we get rid of that. Yeah, instead, 
we want to go to the iron ore depot so that we split the we split the supply of iron equally. And in fact, it'd be great if we could get another iron truck moved over there. How are we doing for coal? Coal is not close to being full yet, so we could really do with more could really do with more coal. We've got two dirt trucks. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Hold on. We finished dumping in this area? Oh, look at that. That's brilliant. That's excellent. That is fantastic. And now we're back to mining coal. Wonderful. Okay, that's that's great. That's that's really, really great. Can I just check, by the way, this dumping designation? Yeah, we don't want to dump in this vicinity because there's coal here, and I don't want to lose sight of that. That's good. That is good. Okay, we got 38 month food, uh, 38 month food supply. We got one worker available. I think, I think it's maybe time that we look at perhaps getting a few additional peeps. Yeah, we'll get one. Yeah, we'll get one person to work in the beacon. Recruit some more. Recruit some more individuals. And we should probably also. Hmm, don't really feel confident building another excavator right now. Not at all. In fact, we are low on copper. We're fine for maintenance at the moment. That's good. But we are low on iron. Iron is being depleted. It's being depleted at a rate of knots. Very, very quick. Uh, are we also out of power? Well, that's somewhat irritating and strange we can build we can build a new power generator when the the refugees get here that's fine that's not a problem um, we can we can make do with that diesel we're still okay for really depends on our power usage doesn't it smokestack doesn't require any people to work in so that's fine slag uh truck auto export should be on it is. The fact that we've got a lot of slag spare is uh, worrying. Why are we not able to auto export this? Have I maybe messed up the dumping designations? No, it should be fine. I mean, we could start working on a dumping designation to like here. F. Try that maybe. See if that makes a difference. Uh, in fact, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, we're allowed to dump slag. We are allowed to dump slag over here. Let's see if this. Let's see if this works. We might have like an issue because it's not technically within a within a mining area. Oh no! I tell you what, that's exactly what I need to do. Yeah, we need to export. We need to export and keep it empty. That's my bad. I uh, forgot we needed to set that up. That's fine. Okay, so we're out of iron. It's not a problem. Maybe we try and keep that full. Uh, no, don't keep it full because that means that we're going to import via truck. Uh, truck import off. Truck exports on. Yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to mess that up. Right. When are we getting more workers? One month. One singular month. That is. That is great. Did I build that new excavator, by the way, or did I build some more trucks? I built some more trucks. That's had a, a little bit of an improvement, although the queue is uh, somewhat, somewhat low. Right, new people have arrived. Let's pause. Let's pause. Truck cannot find any trees to harvest. I mean, that's just such a lame excuse. There we go. Chop down all those trees. Hey, look at that. We're starting to we're starting to export the slag in the right place. That's good. That is good stuff. That is good stuff. Uh, we do still need more... We do still need more iron extraction capability, though. Because at the moment, the small excavator is not doing... Not doing what it should. We're still okay for concrete blocks. We need to get another... We need to get another uh, excavator to do sand over there. But that's fine. I worry that maybe we're going to start to struggle for diesel. He says, but then I look across at Diesel and I see nothing but goodness. Everything there on the, the Diesel front is fine. 
so that's great. Uh, okay, well, we're working on ramps at the moment. We can get settlement water, which... Uh, which would be fine. It would allow us to it would allow us to start using some of the water that we have stored up from rainwater collectors. Is that a priority right now? Not really, because my unity is my unity is actually looking pretty darn good. If I'm honest, we've got food. We're only using one research lab, um, so I think that we're fine. I think that we're fine on that front. What's the issue here? We need more copper ore. Man, we just need way more excavators, don't we? That's, that's exactly what we need. That is exactly what we need. Right. We need to we need to start ordering more excavators. Let's get one. Let's get two. I could... I could... I could quick deliver that. Let's quick deliver that so that we can build one of the excavators. Uh, the reason why that's so important, we can spend some of our unity. I mean, we don't exactly... We don't exactly need to worry about it altogether too much. Uh, the reason why this is so important is because iron at the moment is our real bottleneck. We need to... We need to get a little bit more iron. And the sooner that we're able to get it, the better. But the bottleneck that we really have is the fact that it's just not being mined out of the ground fast enough. What I plan to do, by the way, is flatten this mountain. When we start to get through to the to the dirt at the other side, uh, we'll start flattening in either direction, and then we can start going down into the ground if uh, if needs be. So that's the plan as it stands when it comes to uh, extraction of resources. How many? Oh, look at this! We can start to repair the shipyard. Let's repair the shipyard. We got 195, 195 of these uh, construction parts just uh, just chilling or chilling, chilling, killing. Let's also I want to do this I want to do this in a way where Yeah, okay, sure <laughs> No, no, hold on, hold on We can do better than that I just want to Make sure that trucks are able to get through yeah, that's kind of cool, right? Like, that's going to work, probably. And we need copper as well. That's fine. We haven't automated maintenance yet. I'm really not bothered about automating maintenance. Uh, we need to set up a bigger copper area. That's for sure. I tell you what, when I disassemble... Disassemble? Uh, when I disassemble... I tried to say disable and disassemble at the same time. Uh, and I said neither of the words. Why don't I do this right now? Why don't I disassemble this area? There we go. I think that's everything here. Nope, not quite. I disassemble everything here. Uh, we can use this to plonk down a brand new... Brand new blast furnace setup for... The... Uh, separated by one, sure. For the, uh, for the copper here. Nice. Uh, of course, this is it's a slightly different setup because we do need to get copper electrolysis. But we'll do that right in there. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, we do need to get a slag output, which we'll get in just a second. Let me set up the molten channels first. It's always good to just get the get the essentials down. The slag export is a nice little bonus, but it's not, not essential. Yeah, that's okay. And then we get a loose storage bin up at the top here. It's gonna look a little it's gonna look a little better once we once we actually finish getting rid of this getting rid of this stuff. Let's get uh, conveyor belts up to there. Let's get conveyor belts into there. Let's get a water pipe. Yeah, I want to come down this side. Yeah, that's fine. This I don't love this setup, but it's it's okay for now. And then output perfectly lines up there. Brilliant. And we'll get ourselves. We've already got a loose storage bin. I just just need to fill in the U-shaped conveyors. Can we go through the middle here? 
I actually feel like that might be a slightly better option. Perfect. That's that's excellent. That's really, really good. That is that is beautiful. And we'll get one and two. U-shape conveyor. Left. Left. Right. And right. I do love how the game just sort of finds its own finds its own route when building when building conveyors. I think it's it's no, 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 no. I think it's so nice. Keep full. Uh, keep full. And you need to be on keep empty. Slag. Keep empty. Brilliant. And you know what? Look at this. We're actually moving the construction parts just direct from the disassembled setup to the brand new to be assembled setup. Which is kind of great. Yep, love to see that. That is that is phenomenal. Okay, have we got another excavator? We sure do. Let's get another excavator over here. Brilliant. The ship dock is completed, which means that I do need to start repairing the ship. Uh, that's going to take a tremendously large amount of iron. Let's maybe not do that right now. I do have 14 workers free, so it might be, might be uh, an opportunity to... Send a, a, a crude mission. Crude mission out into the unknown. We need more iron to be delivered. That's fine. That'll happen eventually. One, two, three, four. We'll get a couple of additional trucks because we do need them. Uh, we've got plenty of capacity here, so that's great. Right. Two trucks that are doing the extracting. That's great. We're going to get another fourth truck added here. Because it is very, very important that we're able to pretty continuously extract iron from the grounds. There we go. Look at that. That's working like an absolute treat. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. That should... That should fix the supply issues that we've been having. Uh, this, yeah, this needs to be full. This needs to be full. What I'm also going to do... also going to do is I'm going to get a get an offshoot here. Might not commit to this long term, but we're going to basically store some iron in here just as a, a sort of buffer. Uh, so we're going to split half of the half of the line of uh, well, half of the line, half of this line. We're going to split that into this unit storage here. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Should be fine. Okay. Good. How are we getting on? How are we getting on here? We just need more construction parts? Yeah. There's a long list of stuff that we need to do. Pretty much the thing that's taken such a long time is the fact that we've got uh, not enough trucks. Last furnace, you're going to do copper, aren't you? Yep. Copper. Brilliant. Copper and coal. Oh, yes. This coal needs to be on kept full as well. Iron. Cool. Right, coal extraction we're actually doing okay for. We just don't have that many spare trucks at the moment. Uh, so the more trucks that we're able to get, the merrier I shall be. We've got one more excavator coming online in just a second. That's cool. Uh, hold on, why are we going up a hill? Oh, I know why we're going up a hill here. Very important, actually, the reason as to why we're going up a hill. I don't love this. I think this is a stupid idea, actually, in, in hindsight. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to complete the greats. The great build-up. Uh, but that's going to take that's gonna take a while. No matter. No matter. No matter at all. Let's get another excavator assigned over there. And can we go back to just mining out this sand, please? Actually, I don't even want to do that. I just want to keep it flat. Just... You know, mine sort of that top level there. We don't need to get we don't need to get complicated. We don't need to get complicated. Hopefully the um the excavators are just gonna sort of naturally divide as to where they you know, to where they dig. I kinda don't think that they will. I kinda think that they'll just In fact, no, hold on. I can get you to prioritize mining sand. 
If I get you to prioritize mining sand and you prioritize mining copper, then that, hey, look at that. Look at that. That's pretty nifty, if I do indeed say so myself. I like that. That is very cool. Okay, so it is sand that we're missing, right? It's not sand that we're missing. Well, it could be sand that we're missing. Not enough workers. What did we start doing? Hmm. Where do we input the cement? Ah, we input it right through that little nubbin at the back there. Well, unit storage right in here. And... Start storing cement here. We do need to start building cement. Kind of right now. Right. The boat is not repaired yet, no. But the, the ship dock is repaired. So we can start thinking about upgrades to the boat. Uh, now, there are some upgrades to the boat, which we can do. Uh, but we probably... We can probably do, do some new upgrades to the boat as well. As opposed to just what we used to be able to do. This is all looking very, very good indeed. I need a bigger... I need a bigger storage area here. Especially for, like, construction part number ones. This is this is a little janky, but uh, we'll we'll roll with it. Captain's office is completed. That's good. Uh, I think we're gonna maybe see if we can try and squeak in another. Can we try and squeak in a few more workers? Maybe. We'll give it a shot. Seven months. Seven months. Also, not enough maintenance. Now that that is a real flipping problem. That's a real flipping problem right there. Uh, and I'll tell you exactly what the issue is here, folks. The issue is, is that we do not have enough trucks and our maintenance has not yet been automated. I'm gonna build, I'm gonna build a couple of trucks with quick build. I'm gonna hope that that fixes us. Does that get us across the line? It might not, but I'm, I'm really, really, really hoping that it does. Quick build you. Let's quick build you as well. We have all the resources in stock. It's not a big deal. It's just a case of getting it done. Uh, we do need more rubber, don't we? Yeah, we do definitely need more rubber. And um, if I'm spending my unity on building trucks, then that's going to, you know, obviously mean that we can't spend them on buying more rubber. But we'll worry about that. We'll worry about that later. Iron at least is good for now, which which I'm pretty pretty happy about. That's great. We need more workers for the copper electrolysis bits. Missing inputs. What are you missing? Copper? Here comes the copper. And let's quick deliver this one as well. Nice. Cool. Okay, this is a very, very long queue. A very, very long queue. I mean, what's the... What's taking such a long time? Like, what's the... What's the real... What's the real queue length issue? I mean, we're not building anything, are we? We'll have more workers in four months, so that's fine. Is it the fact that we're, like, moving cement? Is that part of the issue? That's probably part of the issue, right? We're trying to move all the cement out of there. It's only a little bit more. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, research lab, we can actually pause for now. Just to ensure that maybe somewhere else gets gets some workers. Not enough maintenance. Yeah, we'll stop, we'll stop this uh, vehicle depot in just a second. Not enough fuel to refuel vehicles. What? How is that the case? Is this wastewater a problem? This wastewater does look kind of problematic. Uh, we should have enough crude. Yeah, we've got plenty of crude. Okay. Keep going on the diesel. Not enough maintenance. How are we doing? Maintenance should probably be kind of high priority. Maybe like priority two, to be honest. I mean, I feel like maintenance is like a deservedly a deservedly high thing to prioritize. Uh, we can quick deliver that. Yep, and we will. 
Yeah, diesel, 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 diesel. Right, pause you. That's going to get people back to work in the copper electrolysis, which is great. Uh, which is going to have more knock-on effects with, uh, with power. But to be fair, we can just build another power generator. Which is what I'm going to do just to try and fix my problems. Uh, we are out of copper. Flipping heck, we're out of copper. Not enough housing. Settlement is crowded. That's okay. That's okay. So we're, we got we got a little we got a little a little breathing room here. We got a little breathing room. The queue truck times are back down to where they where they should be. That's great. Um, Diesel is still in a sort of precarious position. I mean, are we able to produce enough? I really don't know. I think we are. You know, I I really think that we are. As long as we're able to keep the coal going. And we should be able to keep the coal going. Right. Uh, the settlement, yeah, we need to get more... We need to get more people in the settlement. We also need to get this farm upgraded to become an irrigated farm. That's pretty important. Wow, are we really... We got 180, and we got... Wow, we got loads of construction parts here. That's kind of bonkers. Maintenance is the only thing that could really end up destroying me right now. Yeah, I'm gonna need another maintenance depot. I mean, I, I also need to upgrade my maintenance depots. I feel like I need to move them as well. Let's get them moved. Let's get them moved and... Again, automating this, kind of important. It it might look it might look ugly to do this. But I actually think that it's kind of essential. Yeah, that looks that looks absolutely horrific, but you know what? We can we can absolutely afford to do that. Uh, the cost is the cost is not is not super high. Missing input. What do we need? We need more copper. We need more copper ore by the looks of it. Whoa, we need more sand. Uh, you need to be prioritized to do something else. No valid destination for sand. Uh have I run out of cop have I run out of copper ore extraction? No. That shouldn't really be the case. You should be... You should be... Not dealing with this stuff. Um, hmm. Uh, yeah, you should be mining... God, you know what? Just... Stop mining that. Just stop mining that. Go and mine someone else. Go and mine copper. There's a... There's a moral of the story here. I really shouldn't... I really shouldn't have done this. Okay, recover. Recover you. Whoa. Recover you? If I recover you both, will you will you work? I hope so. It's kind of essential. Kind of essential that we make this happen. Okay. Maintenance, 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 maintenance. Maintenance is just so it's so dicey, right? Like once everything once everything falls apart, then you know, stuff bad stuff starts happening. Bad stuff starts happening. Right. Are we are we back mining copper? One, two, three, four trucks. Let's get four trucks to do copper. I think we're just gonna have to mine this sandy area with a different mining tower. I think it's kind of that simple, to be honest. Uh, there's no there's no point in you know faffing around. We'll just we'll just do that. Truck cannot deliver sand, no valid destination. I mean, is there not? There we go. Go and, go and empty your sand over there. Go and empty your sand over there. In fact, what am I talking about? What a stupid... What a stupid idea. Uh, let me cancel that. I know that's going to create no valid destination here. If 
But what we can do, empty sand. In fact, get rid of that, that, and that. Empty sand, and um, we'll have a dumping designation. Here. Dumping designation for sand. Sand and sand only. So we're going to create even more beach. Right, you're probably... Oh, you might just dump. You might just dump sand over over there. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, right. I need to get. I need to get extra housing. Uh, ground is not flat enough. That's a bit of a kicker. Don't love that vibe, but that's okay. Is it time for me to get a water facility? It, it very well might be. Very well might be. Right. We need a whole bunch of iron in order to repair. In order to to repair the boat. Maintenance we're good for. That's great. Let's get uh, this maintenance facility demolished. No reason to keep that around. There we go. And we do still have iron here. It's just not working particularly quickly. And also we're at a rubber, which I should have been, uh, should have been paying attention to. But it's fine. Thankfully we have iron and we can... One, two. I think we'll get two. I think we'll get two for now because the price increases the more you buy. So let's just play it, play it safe. Yeah. Yeah, I think that should get us enough. Should get us enough of what we're looking for. Right. So we've got 12 workers that are currently available. I kind of just want the workers to just, you know, just do a little bit of work. And let me, you know, let me see where we sort of stand after we get done with all that. After we get done with all the uh, the upgrades and the updates and whatnot. Copper. I mean, copper we are. We're in a bad place. We're in a bad place when it comes to copper. Which is kind of to be expected because, you know, we, we were struggling for quite a long time. Cannot reach destination. Are you flipping kidding me? You're going to get recovered then, I guess? Then we'll assign you over there. I mean, what the... Don't mine from these tiles or these tiles. Just mine from those tiles. Just keep it flat. Just keep it flat because otherwise, you know, it's going to get very, very difficult for us to for us to manage. Let's remove your mining priority. We also need to get our farms upgraded, which I'm probably going to do in just a second. But I really need more. I just really need more flipping copper. And we also need to get. We also need to get some fuel stations. Uh, that is. That is very very important. A fuel station over here. Fuel station over here and corresponding. Do we need a fluid storage? We don't actually. We don't actually. We'll assign one truck. Fuel station is very, very important because at the moment we are doing, we are doing a lot of, we're doing a lot of driving for not much reason. Um, you know, we're sending small ex excavators, you know, halfway across the map to fill up with 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 gas, and that is and that is daft. It's uh, pretty, pretty redundant. Right. Right, we're mining out a little bit of dirt. That's that's fine. A little bit of rock. I'm okay with that. That's it's, it's fine. Not enough fuel to refuel a vehicle. Yeah, we are. We're in not a great place. Not a great place when it comes to when it comes to fuel at the moment. We'll we'll try and fix this. We'll assign a brand new truck to to work the to work the extraction. What are you doing? Can't even build any excavators. We are getting copper, though. That's good. There we go. Just keep on, keep on extracting. That's fine. I think we'll be... I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be just okay. And plus, we've got 12 workers, which, as I say, is kind of cool. Kind of cool. Big number of workers. Four trucks that are doing copper, 
what, three trucks that are doing, four trucks that are doing iron. Excellent. Got three trucks that are doing coal. And I think that's probably, as long as we're able to consistently supply this basic distiller with coal, I think we're going to be grand. I think we're going to be just grand because the loose storage has got coal. That's great. Got loose storage over here for coal. Yeah, we're, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine on the coal front. That's, that's great. I, I do need to get cement set up, uh, even though, what, we've got plenty of cement. I mean, do I really need to worry about cement? Not really. Not for a little while. Fuel station is out of fuel. I know, I know, I know, I know. Fuel station is no pipe connected. Oh, does that need to be? No, surely that doesn't need to be. Do we need to store, do we need to store fuel in a different tank somewhere? I kind of just assumed that it was a, a levels issue. You know, the fluid storage wasn't... It just wasn't producing enough, uh, or we just hadn't produced enough diesel or something. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's let's turn on let's turn on one of these labs again. We'll get settlement water. Uh, in fact, no, we won't get settlement water. We'll get transports balancing, which is fine. Settlement water could be done now, uh, although space-wise things are a little a little tight here. A little tight. This is looking fine. This is looking fine. We've got plenty of crude. I, I do, do think maybe a second distiller would be would be an idea. Not a huge not a huge pressing concern though. Uh, what is a pressing concern is the fact that this fluid storage area just isn't working. Do I have to build Do I have to build a tank behind it? If so, what's the point of assigning a truck to Oh, they automatically refuel the nearby excavators and tree harvesters. Oh, okay. They actually, oh, they actually go out and and refuel. Okay, I thought they brought the fuel to the station. That's interesting. That is perhaps that perhaps, that makes a lot of sense. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. My fundamental understanding has changed. Cool. Okay, because we got, you know, we do have, we do have diesel. And, uh, let's get... Let's get another fuel station over here. Yeah, absolutely. We'll get another, another fuel station over there. And, um, we will... We will ensure... Go, keep full. You're loading up. And you're just gonna go around and fuel up everyone. That's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. That is very, very cool. Okay, we'll assign one truck over there. I feel like we need quite a lot more trucks here. One, two, three. And then we'll go to the map interface and we will nab ourselves. I'll get three. I'll get four. I'm not going to spend any more than fifty. That seems that seems silly, but uh, but yeah, that's that's cool. Look at this. You're going to go out and fuel up this truck, presumably. Okay, or the other one. That's cool too. That is that is cool too. But look, at least it's working now. That's great. I am. Very, very chuffed for that. That is... That is immensely cool. That's lovely stuff. That is absolutely lovely stuff. Okay. Uh, let's get... Let's get some more people. Tentatively... Tentatively expand a little bit. Tentatively expand a little bit. Let's get... Do I want to get this farm upgraded? I do want to get this farm upgraded. Let's upgrade this farm to become to become the first irrigated farm that we have. Uh, is this, Are they both going to become irrigated farms? Potentially. Um, I don't really love uh, this farm's location. If this town is going to expand, it's probably going to expand up here. I guess it could expand one more time. 
All right, this way. Grind is not flat enough. Okay. I mean, we can start dumping stuff here. We can definitely do that and maybe start reclaiming a little bit of ground. Dumping designation. Uh, keep flats. Yeah, so we can definitely do that. That would be that would be nice. Uh, getting up to this plateau is it's important. It's not essential uh, because we'll we'll get there eventually. I think. Uh, anyway, I mean, we're we're not you know we're not too far away from just getting up here if we need to in a pinch. Okay, not enough workers. That's for the irrigated farm, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, do we want to stop producing farm? At food at the, the regular farm. It's definitely an option. Rainwater Harvester doesn't take any people to work. Which maybe makes me think I want to get Sure, sure. Man, the rain, the rain is really coming down. Okay. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I, I trapped you. My bad. Okay. Well, you know what? This is good stuff. Prioritize that. Maybe you never know. We can get a little, a little extra help. Rain is coming down. Maintenance is not great. That's okay. Transport's balancing. We're about to finish up. Brilliant. And do I want to pause? I do want to pause the research labs because we ain't got no more research to do. Fuel stations are both out of fuel. Uh, wastewater is running rampant uh, in the streets. Let's... Let's just straight up, just, you know, just, just do this, just do this, it's fine. Uh, we could quick build it as well, in fact, I'll tell you what, I'll quick build it right now, so that we can start increasing this basic distiller stuff again. Hey, look at that, we got some new friends joining us. Uh, I'm gonna leave this, I'm gonna leave this on actually, I'm gonna leave this on, because I think that we can sustain one more load of, of people at this moment in time. We've quick built the wastewater pump, so that's great. It's going to help us out a great deal. We need a load more fuel uh, that we don't have. Can I maybe buy some fuel? No, I can't buy fuel, unfortunately. It's a bit of a bummer. But that's okay. I think it's time that we maybe... Well, we definitely need to get an upgraded, an upgraded diesel production setup. I mean, if that's not abundantly obvious, I don't know, I don't know what is. But, um, but for now, let's get a, a second basic distiller. Because now we've got the the wastewater routes. Shouldn't be too difficult for us to. Shouldn't be too difficult for us to set up. Let's also get a coal input. And we'll get some U-shaped conveyors as well. Nope. Down there, perfect. Okay, uh, the Q4 trucks is insane. It's just absolutely insane. I'm gonna try and help the, the game along a little bit. Look at this, look at this setup. This is looking, this is looking real nice. This is looking real, real nice. We got a lot of water. Not a super forever amount of water, but that's okay. Not enough fuel to refuel vehicle. Yeah, I know, not enough maintenance. I also know that, but we, we're fine for maintenance. Uh, I mean, the, the good thing is, I think the maintenance changes are actually really, really nice. Because maintenance now no longer starts to take effect unless you get rid of this global maintenance uh, list. As you can see, which is really quite good which means that you have like an ample amount of time 
uh, you know, before things start, you know, completely falling apart. Which I think is, which I think is kind of great, to be honest. All right, let's uh, assign coal. Keep full. Can we quick build any of this stuff? Yeah, I can quick build some of this stuff, to be honest. 0.4 unity. I mean, I got plenty of unity to use. I might as well, might as well use it. There we go. There we go. Uh, maybe this fuel station being connected to the to the fluid storage straight away is, is not a great idea, but that's okay. Anyway, this works. This works. Happy days. Uh, we're going to need way more crude oil inputs, but um, that's going to give us, uh, you know, guaranteed a tremendous amount of diesel uh, anyway, which is going to be which is going to be really, really useful. Uh, we are going to pollute the water a little bit, but I don't think that, that really matters a uh, lick, to be honest. I don't think it matters a lick. I need to build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more trucks. I need way more trucks in general. Just a lot, lot, lot more trucks. Okay. Uh, these diesel generators should be should be brought back up online soon. Let's get them all on priority two. I mean, maintenance and power should really be priority two, right? Because without power, you can't have maintenance. Without power, you can't have a lot of things. Without maintenance, you know, the, the game falls apart. Everything is a disaster. Uh, so, yeah. Missing input, crude oil. There we go. I think the crude is coming back. I think the crude is coming back. That's, that's excellent. Okay. Uh, I will, I will add, like, what, two... I will add two more. I realize that's not two. I have, I have lied. Uh, and I have built more than, more than more than two oil wells uh which actually is not a great vibe actually because um crude oil let's be let's be real uh there's a limited amount of crude that we have here there's a very very limited amount of crude that we have uh, and in fact i don't know if there's crude anywhere else on the island i am unsure i don't think that there is a little beach yeah, I mean, there's there's not, which means that we're going to have to get our crude from an external source, an external source like uh, like an oil rig. Hey, look at this. We got a whole bunch of diesel as well. I tell you what, that diesel probably saved my bacon when uh, the refugees arrived. That's, that's really quite handy. Okay, water is looking good. It's great. Food production is is grand. No designations available to be mined in the area. Oh, yeah, because they doofed it up so much that I needed to redo it. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, there's some air. Oh, whatever. Get rid just cheese video game. Come on. Just, just let off a little bit, eh? Okay, good. So that's, so that's fine. I think... I think everything... I think everything is fine. Everything is fine. Maintenance is now back on the back on the mend. That's wonderful. We've got plenty of resources. Right, we're, in a, we're in a pretty darn plentiful resource situation right now. This is Is that going to allow trucks to pass under there? That That is... It's a really, really, really awkward... I mean, the solution, the solution to this is just... Not to build something that is abysmal and atrocious like that. It is just to build a better... It's to build a better setup. Uh, which we can probably figure out next time. I mean, it's not a super pressing... Uh, it's not a super pressing concern right now. Refugees coming in three months. We've got 15 workers spare. Uh, we still need to set up the limestone process. We're probably going to get that started next time. 
um, for sure. Crude oil is is okay. Uh, we're gonna get this. We're gonna get this boat repaired. In fact, I'll queue that up right now to be repaired. Uh, we got a whole bunch of trucks that are that are coming in. Kind of loving that. Uh, kind of loving where things are going at the moment. This is looking really really good. Uh, ladies and gents, thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Captain of Industry. My name, of course, has been Open Potato. Thank you, as ever, for the fantastic support over on the Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Open Potato, if you're interested in helping make videos like this possible. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.